To build your search campaigns, you'll set up keywords in every ad group. In order to have your ads appear when people search for your product or service, you must choose keywords to match the words or phrases that people search for. For example, if you sell sneakers, you can add buy sneakers as a keyword in your Google Ads campaign. When people type buy sneakers on Google search, your ad might appear on the search results page. To allow greater flexibility in defining what keywords can trigger your ad, there are different keyword match types in Google Ads. Broad match, broad match modifier, phrase match, and exact match. Note that each match type has its own symbol. When you use broad match, Google Ads automatically runs your odds on relevant variations of your keywords. This includes synonyms, singular and plural forms, possible misspellings, stemmings, such as floor and flooring, related searches, and other relevant variations. For example, if you set a keyword like vegan shoes for kids, with a broad match, your ad may show for searches like kids vegan shoes, vegan shoes for toddlers, ethical kids clothes, and vegan shoe brands. Broad match is the default match type that your keywords are assigned. If you don't specify another match type, broad will start you off widely. So, if you want to be more focused with your keyword targeting, consider starting with other match types. Broad match modifier offers more control than broad match. This match type only shows ads to searches that include the words you've marked with a plus sign or close variations of the plus terms. For example, the broad match modified keyword red shoes with plus signs on each keyword can match search queries like red men's shoes, red sneakers, red shoes for kids but not search queries like blue shoes or kids sneakers with phrase match your ad can show to customers who are searching for the exact phrase of your keyword and close variants of it with additional words before or after for example the phrase tennis shoes in quotations can match with queries like red leather tennis shoes buy tennis shoes on sale or red tennis shoes but not search queries like tennis sneaker shoes. With exact match, your ad can show to customers who are searching for your exact keyword or close variants of your exact keyword, but without additional words before or after. The close variants include searches for keywords with the same meaning as the exact keywords, regardless of spelling or grammar similarities between query and keyword. For example, the exact word, shoes for kids, in brackets, can match queries like, kids shoes, shoes kids, kids shoe, or shoes for a kid, but not search queries like, red shoes for kids, or buy kids shoes. Now that you know these four match types, choose a simple keyword strategy that fits your needs. One way to set up your keywords is using broad match modifier. Together with exact match keywords, broad match modifier keywords will uncover and capture a wider range of queries. Some of these queries might have a large volume or exceptional performance. These specific queries can be added as exact match keywords to the same ad group. You can put these different match types in the same ad group. Since only one keyword will trigger your ad at a time. To add new keywords, go to your desired ad group. and. In the Keywords tab, click the plus button and start inserting keywords in the empty box. Don't forget to add the right match type symbols to come up with new keyword ideas or to see the estimated search volume of specific keywords. Go to the Tools tab, click the Keyword Planner and start exploring this great tool. Another very important component of keywords is negative keywords. Negative keywords prevent your ad being triggered by certain words or phrases. Please note that negative keywords also use match types. But negative match types work differently to their positive counterparts. The main difference is that you'll need to add synonyms, singular or plural versions, misspellings and other close variations, if you want to exclude them. For example, if you sell kids shoes, 
but not running shoes. You might want to add running shoes as a negative keyword. If you add it as an exact match negative keyword, you would still be showing ads to search terms like running shoe, shoes for running, or running sneakers. To avoid this you need to add another variance. Or, just add running as a phrase match negative keyword. Just negative keywords can be added in the keywords tab. To add new negative keywords, click the plus button and start inserting your negative keywords. They can be added at the campaign level or the ad group level. One great tool you'll want to use is the search terms report, which identifies the search terms that triggered your ads. This report will show you a list of search terms and their performance. So you can decide which search terms have high volume and should be added as an exact keyword, and which search terms should be added as negative keywords. To see your search term report, go to the Keywords tab and click the Search Term tab in the menu. When selecting a search term you can either add it as a keyword, or add it as a negative keyword. Don't forget to add the match type symbol, in case you're adding an exact phrase, or broad match modifier keyword. Lastly, consider creating a separate dynamic search ads campaign, which helps you capture all relevant search terms that are not captured by your existing campaigns. This is important, since 15% of the searches seen every day are new and can't be predicted. Now that you know how to implement keywords in your search campaigns, it's time to start creating great text ads.